Hey guys, this is Harjit here. Uh, I'm back with one more video for you. So today's topic is introduction to data sets. Let us look into this. Okay. So let us go through some history first. So data sets were introduced to Spark in version 1.6, but in when people were using 1.6, uh, Spark uh, at that time data sets were not famous so people were still using data frame so uh, you know i have not seen many people uh, writing applications in data sets if they are using spark 1.6 so, uh, data sets uh, uh, acceptance has grown with spark 2 so uh, you know uh, you might be aware that when spark was introduced uh, when spark first started uh, it started with rdds so you have to write map function, uh, you know, filter functions, and there are group by function, reduce by key function. All that functional uh, uh, programming paradigms were provided to the developer. And the onus of writing optimized code was on developer. So uh, to write a very basic application, uh, you know, uh, people who are new to functional programming or who are new to uh, Scala programming, it was very difficult for them. Uh, you know, they used to find it very difficult. So uh, then, Spark guys came up with uh, a, a bit of abstraction on top of RDD, which was called Data Frame. Excuse me for the spelling mistake here. Uh, which was called Data Frame. So you could, uh, with the introduction of Data Frame, you could write your uh, application logic in terms of SQL or in terms of very high-level code. Uh, Spark used to take care of converting that code into RDD. And uh, uh, in that process, Spark used to optimize the code also for you. A lot of uh, this increased the adaptation of uh, Spark in market. So a lot of companies started to use, use Spark because it was very easy. Uh, it became very easy. And uh, adoption of Spark grew a lot. Uh, but that gave a problem that, uh, uh, you know, Spark went away from uh, functional pa programming paradigm. There were, uh, if you are using data frame, you could not use map function, reduce by key function on data frames. You have to use, still use RDDs if you wanted to use those functions. So uh, the developers who wanted more control, who wanted uh, type safety, were not able to, uh, were not liking data frame, I would say. So... Uh, Spark guys uh, recognize this and they want they created one more abstraction on top of RDD, which is called data set. Uh, data set gave you best of both, best of RDD and best of data frame. So it gave you capability that you can write your logic in terms of map function, reduce by key functions, um, you know, or uh, any of the paradigms which were available in RDD. It gave you type safety. So you could define a class, and uh, your uh, 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 you know uh, your uh, logic, your uh, uh, the code that you will write will know will be aware of uh, that uh, class structure. So that uh, advantage of that was that you will uh, be able to avoid any compile time errors and any kind of analysis error, syntax error of any kind of analysis. Error. I'll give you an example. So if you write uh, SQL, you will not know. Uh, whether the syntax of that SQL is uh, right or wrong until unless you run that query. So that is called uh, uh, compile time safety. So there is no compile time safety in SQL queries. So uh, there, uh, there was uh, some kind of compile time safety with data frames. Uh, but, uh, you know, if you are using a wrong column name or something in your uh, 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 data frames, uh, you will not be aware of that until unless you run that logic. So data sets bring that. So schema is very integral part of data sets. Uh, so if you are using a wrong column while writing your code, data sets will not let you compile the code. So you end up saving a lot of time. I hope this is clear. If this is not clear, guys, I have a specific video on uh, type safety of data sets. I recommend you to watch that. Cool. So, uh, so you could, uh, so with data sets, you could uh, uh, get very optimized code because of encoders and all that stuff that came up with the data sets. 
and uh, it was more memory in uh, uh, memory optimized uh, like it used to consume lesser memory and lesser resources uh, it it consumes lesser memory and lesser resources uh, if you are using uh, data sets okay so what is data set data set is just a data structure which is used to represent the data that you are going to process with the help of uh, spark so data set is a data structure which is immutable when i say immutable it means that uh, once a data set is created you can't edit that so if you process the data set you can create a new data set but you can't edit any existing data set it is strongly typed means uh, that uh, uh, you know it is compile safe if you are writing functions if you are writing code using data sets uh you if you are processing data sets and you end up using wrong column uh, your code will not compile so data sets give you that kind of uh, type safety so uh, you can think of data sets as a collection of objects so here object can be your business object like person location or anything that is your business object so uh, you can think of data set as a collection of objects and uh, which has a uh, schema map to uh, to it so data set has a schema map to it okay so uh, data set as a functionality is only available in scala and java data set functionality is not available in python and r at, at the time of uh, you know this video creation so data set uh, with data set coming in uh, data frames are also data sets so it, it some people may find it very difficult to understand but uh, data frames are also data sets but they are type of a data set in which uh, you know object type is row so if i am creating a data set of person then my object type will be person so and all the objects within my data set all the rows within my data set will be of type person it will adhere to the schema of person class uh if i am creating a data frame in spark 2.x api it is going to be a data set but it is going to be a generic data set all the rows are going to be of type of object named row row is a class in spark if you are not aware so if you are using data set your uh, error analysis error will be caught at compile time so they will not be caught at uh run time so in case of data frames your analysis error will be caught at run time if you are using a wrong column in your code it will be caught at run time it will not be caught at compile time whereas if you are using data set if you and you end up using wrong column uh, it will be caught in compile time i hope this is clear okay so what are the advantages of using data set so data sets come up with a very good feature called encoders uh, encoders have made it possible uh, to uh, better utilize the memory of your executors so uh, encoders consume with the help of encoders a uh, lot of optimizations can be done so uh, spark is able to do optimizations on the data even without reading the whole object so if you have a collection of objects sitting in the memory Uh, to do certain optimization spark doesn't need to read the whole object it can do uh, with the help of encoders it can filter the data and do some kind of optimizations without read sealed without deserializing the whole whole object also so uh, spark 2.x can create automatic encoders for your primitive data types like string integer uh, long etc and it can also create uh, uh, encoders automatically for case classes so that's why you might have seen case classes majorly used for data sets if you have ever seen any examples of data sets uh data sets are faster and more optimal and they consume lesser resources as compared to data frame and uh, uh, other uh, and rdds so you don't have to write uh, uh, optimal uh, code uh, if you are using data sets it will automatically create out optimal code uh and uh, there will not be any difference between java and scala apis uh, they are, they will end up using same api uh, this is one of the biggest advantage for java api guys people who are working on java because earlier they their api used to lag behind scala 
uh, by a bit functionality. So 